mwisho siku yenye dana napeleka hospitali mm -hmm. kuna msichana anaitwa Lavenda mm -hmm. anakuwa huko inspector Mwala mm -hmm. ule anakuwa polisi mm -hmm. those are one of the people who are trying to propagate that narrative mm -hmm. that Lugu Yadan, Mimi, which is me. It's I'm the only brand. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to our show. I have LK show, and of course, we are queen of content, Rudy Kitui. Today, guys, ni metembea maeneo fulani. Na ni mekuja kuzungumza na kakake Ochonjo. You all know Ochonjo, amekuwa comedian, amekuwa actor, amekuwa kifanya kazi amazing sana pale kwenye mtandao akiwa na Onsongo na maiku wako and tumempoteza. But right now I'm here with the brother, brother to Ochonjo, nataka tupige story na ye to skie kwanza wanendelea VP. Atueleze kidogo briefly kuhusiana na maisha ya Ochonjo ilikuwa VP. Karibu sana kwenye show. Asante sana. Kwa majina unaitua nani? Mimi ni Kevin Okoth Bodo. Mimi ni kakake Ochonjo mkubwa. Ochonjo mimi ndio nimemsomesha akiwa secondary school mpaka kamaliza. hiyo uh, talent ya comedy ama usanii alikuwa nayo tangu utotoni. And then when he came to Nairobi after school, nikaishi na yeye briefly for a few years. Then he akapata uh, tunasemaje I got on his feet yes. and then uh, he left my house mm -hmm. after me kuna kazi ya kwanza alipata na KTN mm -hmm. uh, sikumbuki sana ilikuwa ilikuwa inaitwa mheshimiwa or something mm -hmm. ya yeah, kwa KTN then uh, baadaye tena akakuwa kwa competition nyingine hapo ya usani mm -hmm. ya Mnet Mnet Africa mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately became he came uh, second best mm -hmm. Uh, na walikuwa na tafuta mtu wa ku act then uh, so number one took his position took the position with them net but amendelea ga poa mm -hmm. mm, after ametoka kwangu mm -hmm. i aka 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 akaanza ku, kuishi peke yake mm -hmm. not peke yake passe mm -hmm. but alikuwa naishi na one of my friends mm -hmm. <coughs> since uh, my house uh, with my kids we could not fit all of us mm -hmm. So it was good also pia anze ku, ku experience uh, maisha kivyake mm -hmm. and uh, uh, anze ku pia ku take responsibilities kama mtu mzima. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that ameendelea hivyo na usani wake mpaka kafika sasa uh, juzi sasa maybe a year or two ago mm -hmm. okay anza hiyo mambo yao na citizen amekuwa msanii hata iko inspector Mwala amekuwa is done a lot mm -hmm. and uh, akakuwa famous anajulikana na watu wengi mm -hmm. so uh, uh, more, the most recent one itakuwa ni Nyarkochia which airs on uh, Ramogi TV mm -hmm. uh, na marafiki zake marafiki zake pia wengi na wajua kina uh, Arigi Joanna Arigi mm -hmm. who I think they, she's the main cast hapo mm -hmm. kwa Nyarkochia mm -hmm. then kuna rafiki yake mwingine anaitwa Onjiri mm -hmm. Onjiri pia ni msanii so most recently uh, to cut the long story short mm -hmm. amekuwa kiishi karibu tu hapa kwangu mm -hmm. jirani jira, jirani mm -hmm. na amekuwa kiishi na rafiki yake fulani anaitwa Jackie mm -hmm. eh, na huyo huyo Onjiri Onjiri has been on and off mara yuko huku mara yuko ayuko mm. but uh, danko tu mgonjwa mm. sana sana ni wamekuwa na huyo Onjiri mm. na since uh, since mimi sana sana atuko tunaonanaga na ndugu yangu mm. because ni mtu mzima na ana amekuwa kiishi pia na watu wazima mm. eh, wenzake wawili Jackie mm. na Onjiri they are sharing a house it, it's uh, maybe later on i can show you where they used to stay mm. Mm, so mwenye alikuwa naonaonaga sana na yeye ni Onjiri mm -hmm. eh, so Onjiri kiona na yeye na hey, how, how is my brother mm. but the answer from Onjiri was always positive mm. ah he's doing well he's taking drugs mm. things like those So that was in uh, February March hapo. Mm -hmm. kufika kufika towards the end of uh, April. 
-hmm. Then Onjiri came to me mm -hmm. with my brother. I have a brother. Mwenye na nifuata lafu kuna ndio sasa danko. So when my brother came, mm -hmm. it was very late in the night. Mm -hmm. Kama sa saba usiku. Then nikashtuka, hey, sa saba usiku. Watu na nigongea get. So kuena nikaona bro, wakona onjiri. Mm -hmm. Then wakaniambia, we want to see you briefly. Mm -hmm. yeah, nikauliza bro. Okay, by then, bro had called me earlier during the day in Akaniambia, mm -hmm. he will be coming to Pangani. Mm -hmm. And I knew uh, his coming to Pangani was to come and see mm -hmm. Dan. Mm -hmm. So, ikafika mi ata nilisahau. So, kufika sasabu siku ni na maja mtu na nipigia simu. Kuhono na una nisimu ya bro. Hey, sasa bro, hapa wako hapi? Ati niko kwa geti yako hapa kujo nifungulia. Nikamuza, eh, hey, this late to siku. Atikuja tu ufungue, briefly tu alafu, we will be gone. Mm. Then I opened kufungua, na unanjiri, mm. and my brother, mm -hmm. uh, anaitua Joshua. Mm -hmm. Nika, nika uliza tu wapu kwa gate, I didn't open, siku wakaribisha ndani. Mm -hmm. Nika smama kwanza briefly kwa gate. Mm -hmm. Because my house is small, mm -hmm. cannot accommodate so many people. Mm -hmm. So now our total melala. By there, I'm a single father. I mean, to mama ya our total angu kunavilali decide kuenda, but I I decided to remain with my kids, and I've been staying with my kids alone like that since my girl Kayla just come da kamoja. Yeah, kujia tuwa banyuma kidogo. Now this is my daughter, okay. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, she's the last born. I have two. Mm -hmm. There's the brother. The brother is in the house. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I look at two years old. Mm -hmm. and you can, yes, and you can see now she's a big girl. Mm -hmm. Tell you, you can just go, no problem. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, mm -hmm. life has been hard. Mm -hmm. It's been very tough for me. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, So, my brother Dan, mm -hmm. you just relax. Uh, mm. Una jua mungu panga vitu zake pia. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, just take it easy. <coughs> so I had high hopes to be my brother. Mm, he was doing well. Ali kwa shanza ku ku anvizuri. Fitu zinge kwa poa. Ata na juu ange ange chunga wa tutuangu. In case miinge tanguli ambeleaki. Ange chukua tutuangu ange chunga vizuri sana. He loved them so much. But maisha ni hivu. So when these guys came kwa gate to see you, they broke the bad news to me. Dan had a lot. Alikuwa na ugonjwa mingi kwa mwili, yeah, which the body could not contain. Then, hizo rumors mingi mingi o depression, o he's been neglected. No, no. If it was neglect, then he was neglected by the same, same friends. Mwenye alikuwa na ishi nao. Because you can't tell me, vile sasa nyinyi mkuwa tatu hivi, mnaishi the same house, and one of you, He's been sick, mm -hmm. and to say me, even if he's sick, kuna some relative of, of theirs. When you appear in the same area, maybe a brother, a sister, a cousin, such. You cannot keep one of you in the house. Mpaka kwe bedridden. Na msemi. Then you come back and try to blame the family. And these are all adults. That was Zima water, over thirties water. So, Juzi to Kiwa to Kiwa Hospital, Nikaskia, and Nikona attitude amongst amongst Wenzake. When you want to find out, you do Kujinia or Kochia, when you know Najita Luolikali. 
nikasikia ama mimi am intelligent enough I've gone to school I know things and I can read anaweza unaweza niongelesha nika read what is in your mind na nilianza kusikia such kind of a narrative inajaribu ku kupropagatiwa ikuwe and that is the line oh dan ku was dan uh, you cannot abandon your brother mm-hmm. but i believe that dan is staying with adults uwezi wa cha mwenzako akagonjeka akakuwa sasa mpaka aezi tembea mpaka mnampeleka kwa chuo in the same 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 house mnambeba mnampeleka kwa chuo mnamrudisha kwa kitanda where are hospitals kenyata hospital iko hapo mbona wakumpeleka hospitali kabla mlikuwa mnaonana na brother yako after how long brother yangu tulikuwa tunaonana tuko mtaa mmoja so i was not i didn't have any doubt in my mind that unajua this sisi ni watu wazima danko si mtoto mwenye anaweza fuata every time niende ni juu anaendeleaje and i mean i'm on a kwa tv is doing his things i'm so happy for him atuko na nanaga frequently but kitu naweza sema ni kwa roho yangu nilikuwa najua dank dan is okay unaona dan is okay sometimes could call i could call him but kusema ti nilikuwa naona na yeye on a daily basis man i would be that one i would be lying yeah but ni vile naweza kwa naishi hapa na naishi pale tuko na shughuli zetu and i've told you a little about my life it's been hard on me lazima niamke 5 asubuhi nipeleke watoi shule huyo kijana yuko sahi yuko form 3 na ajaenda shule by the way he's in, with me in the house because of mamba school fees it's it's hard it's hard so hata hiyo kuanza kufikiria about my my small brother mm-hmm. kama danko mm-hmm. and ni mtu pia ni mtu yuko kivi yake you know i think i hope you understand yes. so atuko na nona tunaona na recently mm-hmm. but unaweza ona na hata kwa barabara na pita nenda anionea niaje bishop mm-hmm. mtani hapa mimi ito bishop mm-hmm. ah niaje dan power uko unaelaje niko sawa eh pita tu aende mm-hmm. i would I wouldn't have a problem mm-hmm. my problem was how do these people Onjiri and the rest they are about uh, three guys mm-hmm. and uh, uh, the, the 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 lady mm-hmm. how do they try mm-hmm. to push a narrative mm-hmm. that Danko mm-hmm. ali watch wana family na wanaishi na yeye kwa nyumba moja and they claim to be the, his friends mm-hmm mtu utakaje na mtu mpaka alemewe mnampeleka kwa chuo mnamrudisha kwa kitanda bala kumpeleka hospitali when dan was still still had strength mm-hmm. could walk by himself mm-hmm. could explain to a doctor kitu anasikia kwa mwili mm-hmm. mpaka dakika ya mwisho mimi dakika ya mwisho siku yenye dan anapeleka hospitali mm-hmm. kuna msichana inaitwa lavenda mm-hmm. anakuwa kwa inspector mwala mm-hmm. ule anakuwa polisi mm-hmm. Those are one of the people who are trying to propagate that narrative mm-hmm. that Dugu ya Dan Mimi which is me it's I'm the only brother mm-hmm. at nili abandon Dan while wanawacha wenye walikuwa naishi na Dan pale mm-hmm. hadi Dan akalemewa mpaka na bebwa mm-hmm. ndio tunampeleka hospitali mm-hmm. and that was too late mm-hmm. too late mm-hmm. when we reached the hospital the doctor called me kando akanembe your brother mm-hmm. is in a very very bad state mm-hmm. and the best thing you can do i can suggest your hospital in bili yes. there's the, uh, the uh, uh, an hospital in gara here sija sijaiona i don't know but i can akaniambia pelekeni kijao your brother yako gara kuna hospital inaitwa popla and i'm also a doctor there and uh, i have reasons why i'm telling you to take him there because there there is the hdu there mm-hmm. my brother needed hdu high dependency unit mm-hmm. which in apatikana ko hospital kubwa kubwa kama maybe kenyata eh, nairobi hospital and those kind of hospitals na nikapia mimi na marafiki zangu tulikuwa tushamwa tuna transfer done from pale kiambu tumpeleke there's an hospital in kasarani inajita St Francis mm-hmm. when i suggested to that, that doctor to uh, about St Francis he was he was uh, he was okay with it but not 100% mm-hmm. him 
he wanted that to take done to Poplar. Mm -hmm. And when we asked about uh, the charges, we were told that we should be having like 200,000 bob mm -hmm. deposit, mm -hmm. which that deposit we, was not all, but if my, dan my brother could be treated mm -hmm. with less than that amount, then but your 200,000 was like a deposit. Mm -hmm. If things goes bad, the 200,000 is there. If things goes well, my brother, my brother would be uh, would heal, mm -hmm. and uh, we would be given a bill. Come mm -hmm. on, less than 200k, we'll be given a change. Come mm -hmm. on, more than that, then we would raise funds mm -hmm. to lipe your bill. Mm -hmm. So briefly, even to imekuwa, mm -hmm. but what we na semaga pango zote ni zamu. Maybe this is always it was Nafanika evil because God wanted my brother to go to him. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just human. Mm -hmm. But there are people to blame, mm -hmm. of which I could be one of them. Mm -hmm. But Mimi, my story, that is my story. So the viewers can make their own judgment. Mm -hmm. But I love my brother. Mimi, I love my brother. Mimi, I love my brother. I love my Watu hapa mtani kuna watu wakiniona wananiita danko. Mm. Kuna watu wakiona danko wanamuita bishop. Mm. Na huwa watu tunaitikia tu. Mm. Na ya yeah, fiti fiti you know hiyo story mingi isha. Mm. That is how and nobody can fault me mm. about my brother. Mm -hmm. I love Dan so much. Mm -hmm. So so much and even where he is he knows. Mm -hmm. But watu wache mambo mingi. Mm -hmm kama kuna watu wanataka kutusaidia tupatie danko the best of send offs watusaidie mm -hmm. otherwise mimi sina maneno mengine mm -hmm. hey, my brother is gone is gone mm -hmm. ninge kwa na uwezo mm -hmm. ningefanya ile ingewezekana aendelee kuishi yeah. there is a friend of dan walisoma pamoja anaitwa is a dj mm -hmm. at, at uh, um, citizen na ramogi mm -hmm. tv and I to a DJ Ken. Mm -hmm. I think most of the viewers here on Amjua. Yes. That guy is a, is a, is a very nice guy. Mm -hmm. When he joined secondary school, he found my brother in Form 3, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. he was a kid, he was a kid, he Form 1, he was a kid, he was a master. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Dan was his barber. Mm -hmm. And he only has good stories to tell about my brother. Mm -hmm. And he really felt it. To mm -hmm. hospital, <coughs> I was sazoten kwa na lia tu. While my my brother was still sick. Mm. So kijana na mwambia sante sante mingi DJ Ken. Mm. <coughs> he pulled me aside. I can impart a brief story of his mother. Mm. His mother was in hospital for like one and a half years. Mm -hmm. So he knew much about mtu kwa hospitali na mgonjwa. Mm pull me aside akiona nalia akaniweka kwa kona flani akani akani like like counseling or something and he's a small boy ni kijana hata naweza sema ni kijana yangu akani lecture akani shika mkono tukaanza kuomba mimi nikamwambia tu Mungu kama kuna kitu yote mwenye danko amekosea mtu yote dunia hii umsamee na kama unaweza muhili Muhil because Mimi now I'm overwhelmed. Mm. But kila kitu tunakuachia. We prayed with this, that guy for like five minutes. Mm. But you see, Mimi instincts zangu as in danganyagi. Mm. I really, I felt strongly when I was from the hospital. Usha, usha endagamazishi. Kuna zile, ma, zile wimbo, zile wimbo watu imba. Yeah time ya kuzikana mm -hmm. I tried to resist those songs they were ringing in my head mm -hmm. you know like my mother also passed away mm -hmm. uh, like 2 years ago hizo mm -hmm. wimbo zilikuwa zinaimba tu za kijaluo zinaimba tu kwa ki najaribu ku resist najaribu kuzikata mm -hmm. then sa nani usiku napigiwa simu my brother was no more mm -hmm. but i really felt it mm -hmm. when my mom was sick also she was in Kisumu. I was in my elder sister, it was Monica. I was like, I'm sick. You can travel to Kisumu. I told Mon, 
I'm not feeling. I feel vizuri na yugo njua madhe. Hizo zingine zote miu feel too vizuri. Mm. But I'm not feeling well with this. Chinyinyi, just try and handle. If there's anything, just give me a call. Mm. Kama kuna mali naza saidia, mm. naza senta saidia. Lakini coming there, mm. roo yangu inakata. Mm. And the, the same happened with Dan. Dan. Mm. When Dan was, siku hiyo alikuwa napeleko hospitali, nilishindua. Hata kuenda kumbeba. Mm. So I sent my friend to help Onjiri mm -hmm. and the, the, I think Uyo Lavenda was, was Inspector Mwala was also there. Mm -hmm. I could not, I, I cannot, you can see it. Mm -hmm. I could not handle it. Mm -hmm. So after I met Peleko Ozi, Kufika, there's also Kijano Yetu Mtani Hapa Nito Wanjoi, Panya, mm -hmm. also went. So Panya ndi alikuwa na nibrief, oh, be sure to me fika. Uh, alikuwa na kata asiweke kwa ward lakini tume tume convince mm -hmm. ameingizwa mm -hmm. so you call this ward or can patia details mm -hmm. then the following day i went to see my brother mm -hmm. since then I, i was there every day mpaka mm -hmm. sasa siku ya mwisho and when was the last time you talked to a brother akiwa tu sasa hajalemewa akapelekwa hospitali a day to uh -huh. a day to him alikwambia nini ah uh -huh. i was telling him Danko, you are strong. Hapa mm. utatoka. Mm -hmm. He was eating. Alikuwa na kula, alikuwa na pewa na, na kazini yangu moja, naitua Don. Mm -hmm. So while he was eating, haka inuwa mkono yake, haka nishika mkono. Mm -hmm. So tukashika na mkono, his right, right hand. Mm -hmm. Nikashika na my left hand. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to encourage him. Mm -hmm. Danko, utatoka hapa. Hata nimefrai sana leo, you can talk. Na una? unakula na, na mumbe utatoka hapa eh ndio utatoka eh utatoka utatoka but uh, could not contain so following day kuenda hai ah he was not himself again na mm. sasa hata nioni anajaribu kufungua macho hata hawezi mm. chakula kuli then i, I just left nikawacha kina mike wako hapo mm. tulikuwa na hiyo crew ya mike wako mm. na chicha anaitwa chicha Eh, kuna time pia tumeenda na usongo huko that mm. small boy mm. so mimi waga na shindwa na very emotional mm. so mimi nikawaacha hapo mm. but kutoka hapo that's when eh, now huyu kijana anaitwa DJ Ken mm. akaniona na akanifuata mm. akaona nalia mm -hmm. ndio tukaenda hiyo msemu akanicancel kidogo then tukaanza kuomba mm -hmm. yeah That, so, that's how it, it went. Okay. Mm. daktari nasema Danko alikuwa na shida. Danko had organs. Alikuwa uh, kwanza zake za za ndani mm -hmm. kama zote. Mm -hmm. Basically because zime beat mm -hmm. liver, kidney mm -hmm. na hizo plus sasa kitu sasa ime hizo zote daktari alikuwa anatuambia those are treatable. Mm -hmm. So kitu imemumiza Dan. Mm -hmm. Then had uh, tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. And TB, mm -hmm. you cannot treat TB while these organs are not functioning. Mm -hmm. So they they had first to treat the, the organs, mm -hmm. the liver, the kidneys, vituka maizo, so that zikipona mm -hmm. and the treatment ya TB. TB ndi meuro ime maliza Dan, because Dan was in a lot of pain. A lot of I could not sing a visa stand hata kukaa hapo hata dakika moja hata kuna nurse pia tuli hire specifically kuangalia juu ya hospitali haina enough nurses so there's a, a retired nurse she's a caregiver very 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 nice lady and it was Margaret Margaret uh, Hinga Margaret Hinga was there with my brother every time yeye alikuwa na muosha na muweka diaper nini such kind of stuff But Dan was in a lot of pain. Hata kumshika tu ndio kumguza he would like piganduru. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of things that I could not stand. Mm -hmm. But kitu imemaliza Dan ni tuberculosis. Because ni kama hiyo TB liko shaendelea sana it was in very very you know those stages za stages mbaya mbaya. Mm -hmm. But with it treats hiyo kabla ya treat mm -hmm. the liver. Mm -hmm. And it took time kabla hata drugs za liver hizo za hizo organs ziko available so that my brother could start proper treatment mm -hmm. yeah so there was a clash of 
med medication mm -hmm. you cannot treat this while yenye unaumbiwa usi treat ndio mm inamuumiza -hmm. zaidi mm -hmm. so it was hard okay. mm -hmm. na before sasa dana kwa mgonjwa life yake ilikuwa vipi ako na familia ama no dan was still single mm -hmm. and he was ready to mingle he was uh, and kila kila time nilikuwa nikakutana naye na mbeba na wewe mm -hmm. tafuta nyumba yako peke yako tafuta mm -hmm. Tafuta msichana mm -hmm. mkae nae. Mm -hmm. You are getting older. Mm -hmm. yeah, then I think was about 34 years, I mm -hmm. think, something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, hizo ziku fanyika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but tunge, tunge takasana uh, ange kuwa na family yake. Mm -hmm. But it, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Dan was single. Mm -hmm. Ana family yake ni mimi. Mm -hmm. Eh, mimi as a the brother. Mm -hmm. I also have another brother mwenye tuko naye hapa inaitwa Joshua. So we are we were three brothers. Yeah, so we are so remaining two. So mko wangapi? Saa hizi have uh, three sisters. Mm -hmm. The eldest inaitwa Monica, she's in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. She works with the county government. Mm -hmm. Ah uh, huyo ni mzee. Hata watoto wake wote wamemaliza shule. Mm -hmm. uh, huyo ni mkubwa. Then mm -hmm. I have another sister. Mm -hmm. I uh, don't want to speak much about her, mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, she's there. Then I uh, know I have four sisters. Then I have another sister, Anitua uh, uh, Sally. She's also married in Oma Bay. Yeah, we are in Tumkubo, Totoake, Omkua, Kubo, Wate. Then I have my, now our last one, Anitua Emily. Mm -hmm. She's still, but only, maybe she's a bit older than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Molewa. So kwetu nimebaki tumebaki wawili mimi na Joshua my other brother all the sisters are married wako na mafamili zao huko mm -hmm. uh, so kwetu ni mimi mm -hmm. Joshua na Dan and now Dan is passed mm -hmm. yeah okay so nyinyi kama familia and also tunajua Dan ametuacha what are your uh, your plans mnapanga aje maybe burial and uh, so ina contribution yes uh, contribution Dan had a lot of friends mm -hmm. A lot of friends, a lot of friends, mm -hmm. and these friends are they are they are in groups. Sasa mm -hmm. uh, we have mutual friends because people knew that my brother through me because akimaliza shule, mimi ndio nimeishi na yapa pango, paka kanza ku ku hustle hizo mambozake, paka sasa katoka kanza kuishi na other friends because I also had my family. Mm -hmm. So we share friends in Pangani, and Pangani, mm -hmm. we are one big happy family mm -hmm. in Pangani here. Mm -hmm. uh, kama kuna mtu alikuwa na doubt yoyote, mambo ya danko, nini, nini, nini. Iyo, mm -hmm. uh, udhubwa na shifa kutowa kwa kili. Mm -hmm. without others, mm -hmm. here in Pangani we are a big family, and we've done such kind of stuff mm -hmm. for so many people. Mm -hmm. My mother included uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Before my mom, we've done so, so many. Na waga tukopa moja sana kwa vitu kama hizi. Socially, we are okay. Na pia kuna mali hapa juu. We have a social hall hapo. Iyo social hall li naungozwa na the MCA wa area. Mwenye pia badu na mpatia shukran mingi sana. Nituwa ni rafiki yangu. Tumetoka na mbali. Tumefanya vitu mingi sana. Tulikuwa tunaitua... When we were young, kabla tujaoa na paka sahi tumekua waze. Mm. Tulikono na ito waze wakali, pangani. Mm. Na hiyo jine waze wakali, hatu kikuja pangani utambiwa ni uyo ni bishop, uyo ni kansila wahinya. Mm. Mwenye sahi, bado ni kansila, sahi ni mtami yake ya tatu. Na and we are happy with that. Mm. Tukona jamaa na ito wa eh, kalunde, mm. papa. Mm -hmm. Tukona jamaa na ito wa Franco, Francis mm. Kenya National Team Coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, madam, cricket. Well, that's another one. Mm -hmm. Then now we have the, 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 the other generation which were after us. Mm -hmm. And another generation, after, we have like three generations. To make what Thai TV. And say, to make sure we can be able to social all pale. And we have a lot of people plus na sisi, na how what water. Kuna mze, kuna uh, uh, kansila flani alikuwa measpire, but aka, he was well beaten na uh, wahinya. Mm -hmm. Na bado pia tukotu na hee pamoza, anaitua Adan. Mm -hmm. Uyo bado pia tukona. We are okay. Mm -hmm. We are very much okay. And me, hata uh, MCL niambia wewe, hatu sikuwe hapo. Mm -hmm. Iyo wacha au vijana watarani uyo story. Mm -hmm. 
paka malitafika wewe kama kuna kitu yote tunahitaji we just consult you mm-hmm. but we just take a back seat so that's what's happening mm-hmm. now then mm-hmm. there is my my wako mm-hmm. ana mimi na, na shukuru yote jana mm-hmm. my wako is ako na roho ya simba mm-hmm. ako na roho mzuri na watu wangekuwa kama my wako mm-hmm. kenya would have been better mm-hmm. my wako is doing also a very good job na, na watu wake kina chacha kina onsongo mm-hmm they are doing a wonderful job and wako sawa mm. so mambo ya danko itakuwa sawa and we invite every tom dick and harry mm-hmm. wakuje kwetu nyakachi mm-hmm. kisumu danko alikuwa mtu wa aina gani wewe kama brother yake vile mimi mm-hmm. very social mm-hmm. napendwa na kila mtu mm-hmm. mimi hii mtaa uliza kuanzia pangani police station mm-hmm. mpaka madhare mm-hmm. mlango kubwa ukiteremka chini mpaka kwa, kwa river huko mm-hmm. Uende nayo hivyo uliza bishop everybody mtu wa boda boda nani atakuleta mpaka hapa mm-hmm. that is how social we are mm-hmm. sisi tunapea tulifundishwa tulimelelewa tukiambiwa heshimu kuanzia mtoto mpaka mtu mkubwa mm-hmm. and that's how we lived our life mm-hmm. danko the same hakuna mm-hmm. kitu hata sauti yangu na yake it's almost the same mm-hmm. tuko hivyo na bio manona there are so many people who are following him mambo ya Ochonjo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are very social people. We love people. We love to help. Mimi naweza naweza ona mtu ako na shida. Na instinct zangu very strong. Kwa roho tu kitu niambie that guy needs more than you. I would I would empty my pocket mm-hmm. and impartie. Mm-hmm. That's how we are. Mm-hmm. And that's how I would want people to live. Mm-hmm. Now la- the most important thing kwa hii dunia ni love. And that's why God through his commandments say love your neighbor mm-hmm. as you love yourself. If everybody could love each other hatunge mm-hmm. kuwa na mashida. Mm-hmm. Na the enemy, enemy kubwa ya, 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 ya binadamu mm-hmm. kwa binadamu mwenzake mm-hmm. ni envy. Mm-hmm. Wivu mm-hmm. na kutakia mtu mwenzako mm-hmm. mabaya. Yeah. That is very bad. Mm-hmm. And that na isaidiaji mm-hmm. mdaka ya mwisho unakuta hizi mabaya zote ziwe ndio zinakurudia. Yes. So that's how I am. Okay. Mm. When is the burial? The burial we are planning. Mm-hmm. God willing mm-hmm. on 27th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is kama vitu zitaenda kwa mpango mm-hmm. kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Even ndo tumetulikuwa nataka hii kitu ifanyike as quick as possible. Si ni wajalu and you know wajaka waga wako na mambo yao mm-hmm. which we also respect. Yes. But we wanted to do this thing as quick as possible mm-hmm. so that's why we planned that in two weeks time we should bury our brother mm-hmm. sasa zingine mimi upenda pia wa islam mm-hmm. unaona hiyo mtu kukufa ukikufa asubuhi by saa 8 mambo it's very nice mm-hmm. because it saves us mm-hmm. ina to save emotions na na, na pain mm-hmm. unaona sasa mtu akizidi kukaa saa zote unafikiria mm-hmm. mimi silali mm-hmm. siwezi lala mm-hmm. saa zote naona naona ile scene ya hospitali saa pale vile my brother was like struggling, struggling with life mm-hmm. i know it, it it pains me mm-hmm. so mungu uh, god willing tarehe 27 mm-hmm. yeah and we also need support hata kama nasema tumejipanga kama pangani mm-hmm. we need a lot of support mm-hmm. from everybody yes. mwenye alikuwa anajua uchonjo mm-hmm. yeah. tukimalizia kuna watu ambao wamekuwa wanazungumza mambo mingi kuhusu danko wanasema mambo mingi sana mara vile umesema familia iko ina msupport alikuwa anaishi maisha ya kuteseka mara depression mara sijui nini wewe kama brother yake what can you say about that uh, those are uh, what, what, what can i say those are i would say they are those are those are not friends of danko Uh, those are agents of doom mm-hmm. those are not good people mm-hmm. whoever is saying such kind of stuff see if you are done and those are the kind of people i've just told you about mm-hmm. wenye wanangoja kitu ifanyike oh, st- yeah. yeah and it's it's not right at all mm-hmm. danko was never abandoned by anybody danko was an adult who could handle himself mm-hmm. danko stayed with adults in the house four there were four in that, that house mm-hmm. what was zima wote wanafanya kazi watu wamesoma that kind of stuff is bad mm-hmm. and they should stop it mm-hmm. they should stop it kabisa mm-hmm. na naomba wa waache vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. those are the kind of people wenye wanangoja opportunities kama hizi mm-hmm. to spread rumors, rumors mm-hmm. malicious yes. eh mm-hmm. vitu simzo it's not it's not right they should just stop mm-hmm. 
Okay. If you want to maybe to channel our contribution maybe to our viewers also, uneza wapatia namba yako and also we will pin the number. Yeah, I think we will pin the number. Uh, you, they can, they should just uh, channel because uh, sahi kuenda kwa process ya kutafta. Oh, till number nini, it, it's, it, it will take time. Mm -hmm. they, they just forward that to my number, mm -hmm. which is 0704967780. I, I would repeat again. Mm -hmm. Zero seven zero four ninety six double seven eight zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we have to make up is that it has idea the long course here yeah, who could have put it down a very decent. Mm -hmm. uh, Guys, let's do this. I uh, want to take this opportunity to talk to you. Let's. If you are talking about fifty bob, a hundred bob, you can. You pay some kidogo, you can. Your number to take a pale compensation. I say, Sema, let's send something to him to support uh, Danko. Ochoncho, and I'm with Danko sit on Joka Ochoncho. Let's support his burial to do at least to to syndicate the Vizuri. And I want to also take this opportunity to tell you that uh, just be strong. I know it's not easy. Yeah. Uh, it's easy to ati ati. It's due at any same age, but I know God is going to be with you. True. He's going to give you strength, true. and we believe everything happens for a reason. True. True. Yeah, it mm. it shall be well. Yeah, asante ni sana, asante ni sana, Trudy, and uh, your boys here. Yeah. Uh, na shukuru sana na naomba kila mtu sikuwe na nenda kuetu kujemjua kuetu watu na semaga ati. Thank you so much. Thank you. So guys, uh, to wind up this video, uh, make sure you subscribe to LK Show. LK Show and Trudy Kitui, we are road to 50k subscribers. After to keep posting video to go 50k. So guys, let's do this. And I've said, when you to support Brother Yadanko, to support.